and it's just one day to the start of the weekend. I'm so excited because I'm looking forward to some chill time. How was your night? I'm Gloria Oji Emodi. Indeed, it is a yellow Thursday for me. Thank you for joining us and welcome. I'm Itogi Mo Edith. Yes, Mo, I agree. You definitely do look bright and early. It's a wonderful Thursday morning. I might shoot your brain. Okay, so if you're looking for some drama, you probably missed it because all of that happened yesterday at the Emo State House of Assembly. Now we hear that the Speaker of the House has been suspended. Acho Ihim absconded with the mace because he suspended a plenary and uh, because of the hulabaloo to an announcement that he made that a suspension of the 27 local government chairman had been lifted oh goodness gracious they called for his suspension mm. he ran away with the mace and of course he instructed his aides to switch up the generator <laughs> that powered the complex so guy. everybody mm. was blind it's however they were able to suspend him and replace him mm. with now interim a house a speaker in the name of chinedu or four so drama mm. drama drama in well, running state, away with mace Ooh. is not um, a new thing no. to us i mean it's becoming a rampant by the day we <laughs> saw the same action in the uh, red chambers <laughs> where some guys came in took the maze and picked off and then we saw the same thing happening some time ago in nasarawa uh, in ekiti so it's not new it's becoming it's a, part well, of us the question is the why thing. do they have to steal the maze the maze is a symbol of power yes. if the maze is not there no sitting can hold. Story. Exactly. Yes. 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 I, I yeah. definitely, I definitely agree with that. You know, yes, we're seeing the one that has happened, yes. which is quite obvious yeah. in the federal level has somebody one somebody's name that rhymed with agege bread <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> not being prosecuted and all of that but yes like you more said without the mace no sitting can happen mm. the lawmakers yes they've suspended, suspended me but let me see how you're all going to sit mm. and decide things it, behind it, my it, back politics <laughs> politics and a lot well, of politics. About Sad politics now, in Nigeria. Um, there is the growing fear in the red chambers and the green chambers that one day in fact they have foreseen the fact that nigerians may revolt against the high rate of poverty in the country and as they have called for uh, an increase in the education budget and other sectors i mean it is not new nigerians are really bitter we are angry about the state of the country and so for the senate to foresee some revolution uh in in the next let me not give a time frame but Something may happen. May I say this is Something probably. Something may happen. Yes. Yeah. Now, while some people may go ahead to celebrate this, I think this is a very selfish move. Mm. So, the reason you are looking forward to increasing education budget after all of these years we've been calling mm. on that, UNESCO has continued yeah. to say that our education system is underfunded, is because you're worried that the poor will now revolt against the rich. That is because the, you yeah, are looking the at the fear. fact that revolution is coming. Yeah. And that is why you are trying to fix mm. things. While that is extremely selfish. Anyways, it if is, they actually it do it, for their selfish reasons, yeah. let's get education mm. working. Yes, but when, when you say that, you know, stories about success, the success that trended and all of the people, we've done special reports about schools, especially here in Abuja, we've seen the state of education in the country. Yes, and it's quite appalling. Ah, yeah, I agree with Gloria. You know, the reasons is not so nice, but they're doing it. So yes, let's they get our kids. They will do it. They, <laughs> will. They, they will. They haven't done it. Oh yet. my it's God. Just a it's just so a mere talk. talk. And for it's a mere talk. talk. It's just a mere talk. Wow. Another problem that I for have Ah, Gloria, they deliberated on this. You see, it is quite sad education that we've lost, is just we've lost, one of those things. Because even after children or young people graduate from this education system, mm. what about employment? I think that exactly. is what we should be talking That's about. Unemployment is extremely high in this country. If they can get parents employed, they'll be able to take care of their children. But then, displace priorities as always. Okay, stop with yes, education. Thank ones. you. <laughs> we hear every day All right, that yes, definitely. We would like, really love jobs. to dwell on that one. But yeah, mm. sadly, just yesterday, while the CBN governor was being screened by the Senate Committee on Banking and Finance. Guess what? He told us that we have tough days ahead. Now, you would expect that when the CBN governor is getting screened, he'll tell you, I know everything is good, it's perfect, me, give, me, give me five more years and I'll do everything for you. Well, he told us his truth. And guess what? We're back to prayers. He says we need <laughs> to pray for Nigeria. We need to pray for President Bari. And of course, we need to pray for the Central Bank of Nigeria. It promised the youth jobs. It promised us one or two things. But he wasn't mincing words when he Gloria, said. Gloria, that mountain we climbed last I year. We'll, we'll climb I that shall, mountain we'll, again for the CBM governor. With all respect government. to the CBM governor, whether mm. he's going to come back or not, he hasn't told us anything new. We pray a lot. In fact, the only <laughs> way to survive in this country is, pray. is pray. We already know that tough days are ahead. In mm. fact, the president said that to us when he, he won the second tenure. Mm. Nothing is new. So what we're new. hoping is that he comes out and does something that will change how things are done in this country sure. and to be better. So sure. we have money in our pocket and food on our well, table. 
expect a lot of money in our one, one, one would expect a, lo a lot of you know i did this i did that i did not do this mm. but I, I think i commend the fact that he was just being truthful let's let's just <laughs> let's something that makes me happy breakfast yeah, food yeah. right now i am in the mood for your favorite hot rice i don't want bomo but i want goat meat <laughs> larry is behind the camera and it's he's smiling meat, let's, i'm telling you larry wants to buy a full goat because of how yep. much he loves goats yep. he's south african mm. and he's <laughs> <laughs> so hey, Larry, breakfast is on you. Have a wonderful Thursday. My name is Gloria Oji and Modi. Yes, don't forget to post those throwback pictures because yeah, it's throwback Thursday. I'm Aisha Jabril. No chance. And we'll see you tomorrow, Friday, the start of the weekend. I'm Itogi Mo Edit.